Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy 2018. On today's video, I am doing a full face of the number seven makeup products. And um, I'm using from concealer to mascara to lipstick, you name it, I have a full face. And if you guys wanna see the products that I used to create this look, just continue watching. Hashtag not sponsored. So here I'm starting with the Airbrush Away Pore Minimizing Primer, which set is said to instantly achieve smooth poreless skin that appears airbrushed. It creates a barrier to shield shine breakthrough, leaves skin perfectly smooth and even all day. So here I'm just applying it all over the areas I have enlarged pores, on the cheek area, on my T-zone. So for foundation, I'm going to be going with the Stay Perfect in Warm Ivory, which is my perfect match. Um, I do have a full in-depth review on this foundation you guys want to check it out I will leave it at the end card um, I test it out for a couple of hours and um, it's actually one of my favorite foundations I use it with a sponge any makeup sponge will do this foundation is uh, medium coverage and very lightweight as you can see it's not full coverage and but it is concealing and covering up my redness and some dark spots that I have it does have SPF it does have um, vitamin E, which helps in the long run your skin, and it has no fragrance. There's no fragrance added to this. Like I said, this is hypoallergenic, which is uh, very good for sensitive skin. So next I'm going in with this beautiful skin dark circle corrector. And it does have little roller balls at the on the applicator, which really help with the soothing and concealing of puffiness underneath the eyes. Now for concealer, I'm going in with the Radiant Glow Concealer in Very Light. Now this one does have a little brush applicator and... Um, it is those type of little click pens where you got to click on it to dispense the product and it makes it a lot easier actually to apply. Now as you can see this does have a very brightening effect which I love and it's not nothing like the Tarte Shape Tape which is very heavy duty full coverage concealer. This is more of a healthy radiant concealer. Um, I really do like it for under my eyes and I use this as a base also on my lids. I of course, use my sponge to blend it in, upwards from the inner corner out and all over the lid. Now this does say that it is um, eight hour wear, which I can actually see it being true because I do not see a crease whatsoever or any fading of the concealer. So I really like this concealer. Here I'm just adding a little bit more brightness down um, the bridge of the nose, on the corner of the lips, and on the chin. Now I'm using the Perfect Light Loose Powder to set all the foundation and the concealer. Now I also have a review on this and it has been my favorite loose setting powder now i'm just getting a little bit not so much and from the outer corner in i am placing just a light layer of powder to set the concealer then i'm going in very lightly again on the cheek area where I'm going to apply bronzer just so that um, the bronzer applies smoothly and I can of course set my foundation. I couldn't find any brow products so I just did them off of camera and next I'm going in with the skin illuminator on my um, cheekbones and anywhere where I'm going to apply highlighter. Now this can be used in three ways. You can use it as a primer before applying your foundation. You can mix it in with your foundation or just add it um, as luminosity on your cheekbones or wherever you're gonna apply any highlighter, which is what I'm doing right now.
so next is bronzer and I am going in with the match made in caramel and oh my god guys this is my favorite bronzer the packaging first of all is beautiful is very high-end luxurious feeling the shade the blendability of this bronzer is amazing it's creamy to the touch and when you apply it you get the most beautiful perfect warm tone bronze I mean if there is something you guys decide on picking up from this brand you guys gotta go with the bronzer get the bronzer and you'll thank me later so basically I'm just bronzing here not contouring or anything like that um, as you can see it gives you that beautiful natural bronze um, here I'm going on my cheeks and then I take it up all the way to the hairline making sure it's well blended so now for the eyes I'm gonna be going with the stay perfect nude eyeshadow palette I love how compact this palette is it's very sturdy heavy really good quality packaging and in the inside it does come with a large mirror and the pigments are all all the shades are all um very very highly pigmented they're all shimmer shades but let me show you guys with one swatch the pigments watch bam look how beautiful those shades are and look at that light shade gorgeous now since there are no transition shades in this palette I'm gonna go back in to the bronzer and with a big fluffy brush I'm gonna start blending it in in the transition and crease now as you can see I already applied a very light lay layer of the first shade I'm using this third one right here um, it doesn't give you the names of the shades but um, as you can see I'm just using my finger and in tapping motions applying the shade all over the lid I'm not doing anything glammy, no glam looks or anything, just something very neutral, very easy and wearable. Now I'm going to be going in with a um, crease brush and just tapping in to the darkest shade and applying it on the outer corner of the eye just to give it that depth and a little bit more of a sultry look. Now I'm going back into the bronzer again with the blending brush and just going back into the crease and just making sure that everything is very well blended. Going to the inner corner, to the outer corner and circle motions. Now I'm going in with the Stay Perfect Eyeliner in black. This one is waterproof and it's a pencil. Very creamy, very, very black. And um, did I mention waterproof? <laughs> As you can see, I'm just tight lining. Um, tight lining and making sure I stay close to the lash line. So I tug just a little bit on my eye just to give it um, an easier application. Like I said, right on the lash line. I don't go over, just trying to stay very close to the lash line. Now to help you out just a little bit, um, this is a tip that I like to use. Grab a brush and with the back of it, you kind of just um, push on your socket and it lifts it up for you and it just makes it easier for you to apply. So here I'm just going um, underneath the uh, waterline only on the outer corner. I'm not bringing it to the inner corner, just on the outside. This gives the illusion of a more rounder, um, more open eye. 
and I blend them together, the top with the bottom. Next, I'm going in with a Dramatic Lift Mascara in black. Honestly, I don't feel like this mascara did anything for my lashes, um, so I probably wouldn't repurchase this again. So next, I'm going to go in with my blush, and this is an Apricot Match Made Blusher. And this is very creamy, again, rosy, peachy, my favorite type of tones for blush. Um, it is pretty pigmented, so you just got to go in with a light hand. As you can see, it gives you such a very peachy, rosy look, which I really love. And it also does have vitamin E to help your complexion. So for highlight, I couldn't find any powder highlight. I'm going to be going with this lightest shade and apply that on my um, high cheekbones and on the top of the eyebrows. You guys know the deal where that highlight goes. It gives it a very beautiful, I actually like this as a highlight. Not going to lie, I like it as a highlight. Same shade I use as a highlight, I'm going in the inner corners to give that inner corner a pop. Now for the lips, I'm going to be going in with this Berry Blush from the Moisture Drench line. Now don't let the name fool you, moisture does not mean that it's going to leave your lips looking glossy or in any sh way, shape or form uh, like if it's a chapstick. This is more of a moisture with vitamin E protecting your lips. So when you do take this lipstick off, your lips feel baby soft. I'm not kidding. They feel so soft. And this is such a very comfortable lipstick. So um, I really recommend this one. All right, so that's going to complete my full face of the number seven makeup products brand. If you guys really like this video, please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Let me know down in the comments which product you liked, which one you probably consider purchasing. And until next time, I'll see you guys on my next video.